Hi guys, welcome to another drawing video. This time I'm drawing a character called Lumina from the game Final Fantasy, which I never played by the way. Um, I just um, I was just browsing one day and I saw a thumbnail with her face on it and it was I thought she was so pretty so I had to draw her. I really like her hair color and her smooth skin, her blue eyes, I really like how she looks. So I was very inspired. In this drawing and in most of my drawing I'm using um, the paper that I'm drawing on is uh, Expressive Blending Card and it says on the label that it's specially selected for use with Copic markers. And yeah, this is my favorite paper so far. I really enjoy it and it works perfectly with Copic markers. In this drawing I had a bit of a problem. It started well and then when I started coloring I had a bit of a problem. But you'll see it uh, in a few minutes in the video and then I'll talk about it. For inking this I started with a very um, thin multi-liner. It's a 0 0.05. It's, it's called Le Pen drawing and um, I just needed a bit of uh, details in her eyes so I started off with this and then I continued with the Copic multi-liner SP 0.5. So here I started to use some skin tones to color her face. I think I started with E00 and then I went into E11 which was too dark, way too dark. I tried to make it smooth with a lighter color but uh, then I went back to a different dark color and everything went wrong and out of control. So I was starting to feel really bad so I stopped and then I went uh, and then I started doing her lips. And then I went back, as you can see, and once again using a dark color. I really don't know what happened to me, what was going on with me, but um, yeah, as you can see, she looks like she was uh, way too much time in the sun. And then I started using some uh, uh, pinkish uh, color just to make it look maybe it's a bit of a blush. Anyway, I gave up and I started coloring her hair just to let the color rest a little bit with the paper and see what happens. And all this time I was thinking to myself, what did I do wrong? What happened with the colors? She looks really, really bad. At this point I was uh, already thinking about giving up, so I tried to distract myself by starting to color her eyes. Um, yeah, as you can see I'm going back with the skin color. I was thinking maybe, maybe I can make it, maybe it will look better. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, I never had this with any drawings of mine. So I decided to put it aside and just uh, leave it on my desk and um, luckily I had to leave town for a few days so that's what I did. I just went away for two days and then I came back and I was surprised. Um, look, this is how it looked like when I came back. Everything was smooth and exactly the way I wanted it to be. So I set up my desk again for recording and I decided to continue. And here I am coloring the rest of the picture and starting to think about the background. Since I left the picture unfinished, I didn't even think about the background anymore. I didn't think about the picture anymore. I was so disappointed. Then thinking that everything turned out great, I decided to try something new and to use some watercolors on my background. 
Um, I never tried working with watercolors on this kind of paper, so I wasn't sure how it's going to react, but I felt confident enough to try it. Well, <laughs> you're gonna see in a minute what happened, but you need to promise me you're not gonna laugh. Please. So here I am wetting my paper so the color was spread nicely and what do you know? Doesn't spread. Doesn't spread. At all. Doesn't move anywhere. But then I thought it didn't look that bad so I decided to add a bit of purplish um, tone to it and eventually I liked it. So yeah. Thanks for joining me on this journey, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!